Mercedes is teasing us big time with a green beauty. Yeah, that right there. And remember the company Mazanti? Well, they are showing off their Evantra Milicavalli. Yes, with a G of horsepower, that's right. Plus it's hump day, so you know we'll break down some fan submitted stuff for Friends Day Wednesday. Isn't that right, AK? Heck yeah, Derek D. That's right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and this is Fast Lane Daily. Erica, what's a hump day sound like? And it's gone. Gone. Do you want to see the most aggressive and potent version of the Mercedes AMG GT Supercar Goldberg? Well, heck yeah, Derek Of course you do. Everybody wants to see it. It's the coolest. Name that movie, Erica. All right. Billy Madison. There you go. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. Well, Mercedes released the teaser of this green beast, and it will debut at the Goodwood Festival of Speed on June 24th. Mercedes-Benz had plenty of letters and numbers to pick from for their track-devouring edition of their AMG GT, but somehow, as you see here, they ended up using the letter R. Interesting choice, since GTR belongs to the great Godzilla from Nissan, of course. Mercedes AMG has been quiet about the AMG GTR's details, but you can expect a twin turbocharged 4 liter V8 to produce anywhere from 550 to 600 of these. <laughs> That's right. And torque will also rise up and band together with a revised 7 speed dual clutch transmission to cast away all the slow demons and help improve the world of speed by going faster than his GTS brethren's 3.8 seconds, 0 to 62 time. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah, dirty. Hallelujah. Nice. You picked up on that. <laughs> we'll bring you more details when the Mercedes AMG GTR shows up on the 24th, because as this guy says, Mercedes Benz, the best or nothing. Yep, that's right. Mercedes, the best or nothing. Just like FLD, right? The best or you get nothing. Good day, sir. What's going on out there? I need to relax. Uh, some kind of truck, I guess. Some yeah. some well, whatever. Guy. Being touted as the most extreme version of the Avantra supercar, the Mille Cavalli, almost sounds like Machiavelli a little bit. Could this be a supercar reincarnated as Tupac? No. 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 Oh yeah, yeah, no, not at all. But it is the latest exotic machine to wear the Tuscany manufacturer's Mazzanti badge, simply known as the Mazzanti Avantra Mille Cavalli. Sounds like some guy who's super Italian, his name. Hey, you know Mazzanti Milica Valley? Yeah, I mean, they had this thing with Tommy Tutos. We had this thing, can't talk about it, but hey, we'll deal with it later. God bless you, Erica, okay? You know what they say? God bless. If you don't say it, boom, you're going to hell. <laughs> Didn't Bob Schubert? Bob Schubert Jr. Bob said, Schubert Jr. That. said that too. Interesting. Oh, okay. The car made its world debut at the debut at the uh, 2016 Turin Auto Show following a bunch of teasers and leaks. You know, honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, not a big fan of the headlights, but the profile it does look pretty mean, if you ask me. Power comes from a new, a new 7.2 liter twin turbo V8 engine pumping out 1,000 horsepower and 885 pound feet of that. Torque. Yes, that's a lot. That's crazier than hypercars like the Ferrari LaFerrari. It weighs 2,866 pounds and zero takes 60 on a wild ride in just 2.7 seconds with a top speed of, what is it, Remy? 250 miles per hour. 250 miles per hour, that's correct, good guess. Uh, Mazzanti promises to roll out 25 of these Ivantra Milicavallis, and three have already been sold since the planning phase. So, uh, interesting. You gonna get one, anyone in here? Yeah, maybe. All right. Probably need a couple mil. Yeah. Or something. Not a couple mil. I'll get one. It's probably expensive. All right. Let's see what the FLD fans are up to for Friends Day Wednesday. Isn't that right, AK? Yes, 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 yes. So right. Goldberg, are you ready? I am so ready. All right, here we go. First up is FD fan Amanda Glennon here. She spotted this Jurassic Park Jeep Cherokee out in Illinois. Hey, maybe they're making dinosaurs out there. But then Don Holtzman here caught this Jurassic Park Ford Fiesta somewhere else in the country. Hmm, makes you wonder. Must be a lot of amber-coated mosquitoes around, uh, around these places. Next is Brandon MJ Jobity. Jobity. That's a cool name. <laughs> Jabbity Jabbity, Jabbity Jobity. 
Anyway, he caught this very rare Nissan Sunny Type R EX Saloon GTR with a huge wing and tons of badges that mean nothing. License plate does say HBO, obviously standing for horrible badge opinions. Okay? Yeah, take them off. Here's another Brandon FLD fan, Brandon Lawrence. Looks like he's holding a baby hammerhead shark. It's kind of, all right. Anyway, he saw this truck with 24 exhaust tips. Pause it and count them if you'd like. Look at that though, the whole length of the bumper. Now I'd say doing it wrong, but let's look underneath, yeah. They're all connected and functional. I tell you, the guy who owns this truck must be always exhausted. <clears throat> Gross. Isaac Mitch here jumping for joy because he took a picture of this thing, some sort of custom supercar. Now I don't know what that is exactly, but honestly, remember how I always say, I want my flying car to be an actual car that flies. It looks like a car and can fly. That's my flying car right there. It also bears a striking resemblance to the flying Mercedes from Spaceballs. It really does. Okay. You know, with the propellers and all in the back? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's my flying car. Uh, next, we have FLD fan Marc Antoine Camerand. Sorry if I said your name wrong. He sent in a video saying hi and that he's a big fan, but he also has a big hammer with him and a GMC pickup truck. And here's what he said. GMCs are the best patrolling some hammers back there. Look at that. Yes. Yes. How awesome is that? Right? Now, here's what I also like about it. Uh, that, that, I just love this show. I really do. I just, I just had a moment. I just had a moment. Aww. But I love that he thinks GMCs are the best to throw some hammers back there. And that's why I love this show, AK. <laughs> Because we got fans throwing hammers right. back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Get those. Give, give, me, give me one, Goldberg. Throw some hammers back there. That's right. That's right. What do you Remy say it? Yeah, Remy, let me hear you say it. Throw some hammers back there. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. And lastly, just a quick shout out to my buddy Mo Bounce, who you may know as the popular radio DJ from Z100 right here in New York City. He had this badass looking 2011 BMW M3, had it supercharged to 625 horses, beast mode. But I just found out today he traded in for this GTR yesterday. Oh. Nice. Best of luck with it, Broham. Appreciate it. <laughs> and go check out Mo Bounce on Z100. He does the middays every day. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, friends. We do appreciate all of it. Speaking of GTR, Goldberg, our FLD question of the day is, what is your favorite nickname for a car or brand? You know how the GTR, obviously, is called Godzilla. I think, personally, my favorite is the GOAT which of course is the Pontiac GTO. Okay. Any of the others? Uh, I know Erica's favorite nickname for a car is obviously Layla. Oh, my car. Yeah, your car. <laughs> well, that's her name. Well, is that's her really name, yeah, but you know. That's her God-given name, okay? Okay, anyone else? Well, the Mustang was the <laughs> pony car. The right? pony car. You, you could maybe say muscle car, but that's a broad mm, umbrella no, of many things. No. So. Taco. Taco for a Tacoma, all right. Hashtag FLDQ of the D, let us know. I'm sure there's some, there's a bunch that we've totally forgotten. Like, oh, nice, that's good. And uh, we appreciate it. You can send your own in too. Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you, AK. And that's it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, and a big get well soon to FLD fan and good buddy of the show, Ryan Schaffer. Yeah, Ryan, come yeah, on, get, get well. Get better, man. And he was, uh, he was doing some curls or something at the gym and ended up yeah. busting his bicep or something. Hey, we're doing, uh, we're doing hammer curls. All right. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, bye. 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 Toodles. Throw some hammers back there. <laughs> Did you have to say it with it? That was like three different You got to be like, throw some hammers back there. I've been asked if I might take a hammer and throw it to the rear of the Prius. <laughs> because I do not drive pickup trucks. I like to save on, on, on gasoline. <laughs> Let me tell you something. All I'm going to do is throw so many hammers, it creates a hammer wall. Okay? <laughs> it's going to be so. Just throw some hammers back there. Ow. We're living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane.